Imagine a forest of trees standing sentinel all around you. Over time, they fall down and become as hard as the rock and the ground around them. In eastern Arizona, you don't have to imagine this forest because it exists. A small locale off of Interstate 40 in the Arizona desert is host to a vast quantity of a unique item, petrified wood. Along with an interesting geological and historical story, this place is a spectacle for the eyes, letting visitors take in some of America's most beautiful landscapes. This is the life of the past brought into the present. This is Petrified Forest National Park. Looking at the rocks of Petrified Forest, one can easily see the many different geological layers that can make up the National Park. The massive Chinle Formation is comprised of smaller members like the Blue Mesa Member, Petrified Forest Member, and Isle Rock Member, which, due to different minerals mixing with the layers, give the rocks a wide array of color, earning the nickname El Desierto Pintado, or the Painted Desert. The landscape of Petrified Forest used to be lush and filled with rivers and wildlife, but over time, the trees dotting the landscape would fall into the rivers in the area and be buried by massive amounts of sediment, which would kill the tree and allow minerals to be absorbed into the tree, preserving it essentially as a fossilized organism. Some of the trees broke up into logs under pressure by the uplifting of the Colorado Plateau around the time of the extinction of the dinosaurs. Over time, the buried trees emerged on the surface, showcasing a unique natural phenomenon and giving the park its name, Petrified Forest. Humans have explored what is now eastern Arizona since the end of the last ice age, and many Paleo-Indian groups inhabited the stretch of park Petrified Forest lies on. Perhaps the most prominent group of people living in the area in recent history are the Pueblo, who built structures and thrived in the entire Four Corners region, spanning parts of Colorado, Utah, New Mexico, and of course, Arizona. The Pueblo had four different periods covering around 900 years, each with a unique style of art, shelter, and way of life. Some examples of this can be seen with Agate House, a house constructed with petrified wood, and newspaper rock speckled with petroglyphs from the area. Around the end of the Fourth Pueblo period saw a drought at Petrified Forest that forced the natives to relocate, and this period also saw the arrival of the Spanish in the southwest, specifically one explorer by the name of Francisco Coronado, who explored much of the area, including the Grand Canyon about 175 miles northwest of Petrified Forest. As Central North America came into the possession of the United States, Expeditions were sent into the southwest to chart the area. The first group of explorers was arriving at Petrified Forest in 1953. Led by Amiel Whipple, the group explored the Painted Desert and gave the first reliable account of the interesting Petrified Wood. Shortly after Whipple's trip, the U.S. government asked Edward Beale to build a road to Petrified Forest. Between 1857 and 1860, Beale used camel, yes you heard that right, camel caravans to transport the items through the vast desert to get to the site. Once the road was built, homesteaders came to the area and cattle started grazing the land throughout the rest of the 19th century. In 1905, famous conservationist John Muir moved to Arizona with his daughters and began to study the rocks and wood on the landscape. It would be these special geologic features that would persuade him to ask President Theodore Roosevelt to set aside the area as Petrified Forest National Monument in 1906. The locale would be upgraded to a national park in 1962. Of course, each national park has its own unique stories to tell, and before we move from history into the attractions of the present, Let's take a look at one of the most influential roads to pass through the park, the Mother Road, Route 66. Petrified Forest had long been the only national park that Route 66 passed through, only recently being joined by Gateway Arch in 2018, meaning it got to preserve the legacy of the route passing through some of the most beautiful terrain in the U.S. Now only marked by a crumbling road bend and a line of telephone poles, the original Route 66 is in ruins, but a preservation effort to recreate a similar route spanning Chicago to Santa Monica has risen up in recent years and you can find a few things in Petrified Forest that relate to this nostalgic road. We've learned about the human inhabitants of Petrified Forest who lived there for thousands of years, but what about the other animals in the park? Several species of snakes and lizards can be seen in the Painted Desert, as well as a species of box turtle. Plenty of ground-faring birds roam the park's lands, while others take to the skies watching sentinel over the park's visitors. Mammals at the park include coyotes, bobcats, and pronghorn, the fastest mammal in North America. As far as plants go, few plants are able to survive in the desert, with only the major trees, pinon and juniper, being spotted on mesas. However, smaller plants like the yucca and prickly pear cactus are able to survive the harsh environment of the desert. If you wish to see these plants and animals, as well as the historical artifacts within the park, the best place to start off is at one of the park's visitor centers, located at the Painted Desert and Rainbow Forest. Down near the Rainbow Forest area, visitors can take short hikes to see the Agate House and long logs of petrified wood created by the process mentioned at the beginning of the video. Moving north towards the Painted Desert brings visitors past Blue Forest and Blue Mesa, known for their colorful hues during sunrise and sunset, and the above-mentioned newspaper rock, the petroglyphs of times past. Finally, we reach the Painted Desert, with the historic Painted Desert Inn along historic Route 66, and a few trails dotting the landscape that make their way through the many layers of rock. 
While Arizona is known as the Grand Canyon State, Petrified Forest National Park also makes a great case for a wonderful impression of the state, showcasing a rich history, a transformative geological story, a diverse array of wildlife, and of course, petrified wood! Okay, maybe that doesn't sound so impressive coming out of a YouTube video. You'll have to go and see it for yourself and decide what makes Petrified Forest one of America's most stunning national parks. We hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe to RIC Adventures for additional content about national parks and other interesting topics, and we'll see you next time.